Day 16. Our weatherman is under the weather. So I'm pinch hitting for him. In this dialogue, Alex steps in to present the weather report because the usual weatherman is sick, using the phrase under the weather to indicate illness. Maria asks for clarification on the phrase, and Alex explains it along with the term pinch hitting, which means to substitute for someone. They then discuss the weather forecast. Here comes the dialogue. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alex, and today I'll be presenting the weather report. Our weatherman is under the weather, so I'm pinch hitting for him. Our weatherman is under the weather, so I'm pinch hitting for him? What does that mean? Under the weather means feeling sick or unwell. And pinch hitting is a baseball term meaning to substitute for someone. Oh, I get it now. So you're stepping in because our usual weatherman is sick. Exactly. I'll do my best to fill in for him. Let's start with today's forecast. That's interesting. How's the weather looking for today? It's going to be partly cloudy with a chance of rain in the afternoon. I better take my umbrella then. How about the weekend? The weekend looks sunny and warm, perfect for outdoor activities. That's great news. Thanks for the update, Alex. You're welcome, Maria. I'm glad I could help out. You did a great job. Hope the regular weatherman gets well soon. Day 17, I'd like to return this. I'd, I'd like to get a refund on this. In this dialogue, the customer wants to return a sweater and asks for a refund, meaning they want their money back. The salesperson clarifies the meaning of get a refund and assists the customer with the return process. Here comes the dialogue. Excuse me, I'd like to return this sweater I bought last week. Sure. May I ask why you're returning it? It's a bit too small for me. I'd like to get a refund on this, please. Get a refund? What does that mean? It means I want to give this back and have my money returned. Oh, I see. Do you have the receipt with you? Yes, here it is. Thank you. I'll process your refund right away. It should take just a few minutes. That's great, thank you. How will I receive the refund? We'll credit it back to your card. Is that okay? Yes, that works for me. All done. You should see the refund on your card within a few days. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Let us know if there's anything else we can assist you with. Day 18, why don't you call in sick today? In this dialogue, Alex suggests that Sam should inform their workplace that they are ill and cannot come to work, known as calling in sick. The conversation helps clarify the meaning of this expression for Sam, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing health over work. Here comes the dialogue. You look really tired and unwell. Why don't you call in sick today? Call in sick? What does that mean? It means to inform your workplace that you're ill and can't come in. I see. But I have so much work to do. Your health is more important. Plus, if you're sick, you won't be very productive. You might be right. I just don't want to fall behind. It's better to rest for a day than to push yourself and get even sicker. Okay, I'll call my boss and explain the situation. That's a good decision. Take care of yourself and get some rest. Thanks, Alex. I'll try to get some sleep and hopefully feel better tomorrow. If you need anything, let me know. I hope you feel better soon. Day 19. Fill in this form and sign your name. In this dialogue, Linda learns what it means to fill in a form, which involves writing her personal information in the specified areas and signing her name. The clerk provides clear instructions, helping Linda understand the process. Here comes the dialogue. 
Please fill in this form and sign your name at the bottom. Fill in? What does that mean? It means to complete the form by writing the required information in the spaces provided. Oh, I see. What kind of information do I need to provide? Your name, address, date of birth, and contact details. Okay, and where do I sign? There's a line at the bottom of the form labeled signature. Just sign your name there. Do I need to use a pen or is a pencil okay? Please use a pen so it doesn't get erased easily. Got it. And what should I do after I fill in the form? Clerk, once you're done, bring it back to me and I'll process your application. Thank you for the help. I'll fill it in right now. Day 20. Where is the fitting room? In this dialogue, Chris, a shopper, is seeking directions and information from Taylor, another shopper in a large store. Chris is looking for the fitting room to try on clothes and also inquires about the checkout location. Taylor provides assistance based on their own shopping experience. Here comes the dialogue. Excuse me, do you know where the fitting room is? Oh, fitting room? What does that mean? It's where I can try on these clothes. I can't seem to find it. Ah, the try-on rooms. They're back that way, near the shoe section. Great. Thanks. Do you know if there's a limit on how many items we can take in? I'm not sure, maybe around five or six. I usually just take a few at a time. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Appreciate your help. No worries. This store can be a maze sometimes. Tell me about it. By any chance, do you know where the checkout is? It should be at the front, near the main entrance. Got it. Thanks. I always get lost in these big stores. You're not alone. Need help with anything else? No. I think I'm good. Thank you so much. Happy to help. Enjoy your shopping.